Chris asks the question, I work out four to five times a week, rotating my days with two to three days of HIIT, high intensity inter interval training style workouts as my cardio days, and two to three days of resistance training with dumbbells and kettlebells. My question is, is there a way I can bulletproof my lower back? Most days I feel fit, but maybe once, twice, possibly three times a year, I will pull my back out. Most of the times it is doing something insignificant that causes it and probably the most frustrating thing. I feel like there is something I could be doing to help avoid these injuries. Now, is it your training? I, I got that'd be the question. Um, if you're doing those intense uh, interval training, um, very often I'll see people choose exercises that just, you know, there's a lot of rotation in the spine. There's a lot of, you know, there's a lot of the stuff Stu McGill would tell us not to do and that you do it high and you do it fast. So that could be an issue. Um, you know, the problem with backs, Chris, is that, you know, it could just be, okay, it could be your DNA. It, it could be you have a lousy bed. It could be your office chair. Uh, it could be the fact that you, when you carry your groceries up the flight of stairs, you always carry them a certain way. Back injuries are a little different. And, and like you've discovered, once you hurt your back, it tends to get easier and easier to hurt it again. Um, that is just something we all notice. We all pick up. It's very frustrating. And as we all know, it's very frustrating. Um, to bulletproof your back, I, I mean, I do Tim Anderson's original strength is what I do. Uh, basically, I do uh, every day original strength, um, which is the rocking, the nodding. It's on my YouTube site. Um, and then the other thing... I. Walking seems to be a really helpful thing for my lower back issues or back issues uh, entirely really helpful. Um, you know, you're, you're talking about bulletproofing here. So it's it's going to be a little bit vague because as I've learned from Stu McGill and anatomy trains and, you know, going to workshops that, you know, it is, it is a, a bit of an art to figure out what's going on with the back and, uh, um, so let me just give you some general ideas, uh, that I would tell everybody one, uh, do your nods, your rocks, your lower back work, uh, go for walks. I'm a big fan of hanging for shoulder health, but I bring my knees up as <laughs> I was going to say to my chest, but I bring my knees up as high as I can and hold it there because that's what we used to be taught when I was young as a cure for lower back problems. Uh, it's interesting because with your knees up, you're getting a nice abdominal crunch, which is great, but you're pulling the bowl, the pelvic bowl underneath the, uh, uh, the rib cage, giving yourself some decompression at the same time. And it seems to be a nice little win-win for the lower back. Um, I wish I had a, a, a more concrete answer, but you know, lower backs are vague and it's, um, for me, uh, I love the word knit, K-N-I-T. I love the idea of knitting the, the area between your shoulders and hips. I like the, the concept of a chain link fence. Okay. So suitcase carries, those hanging uh, knee raises, um, original strength, and then just maybe take a video of one of your workouts and just show it to somebody who knows what's going on and just say, what's the problem here? And they might just say, see this exercise. This is the one. It could be something that simple. Good question. And I hope that helped.